Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today this video is just going to be short and sweet. It's going to be a quick one because we just have some information on Supercross 3 to talk about. The game is about just over, just over two months away from launch right now. So we are, in my opinion, going to start seeing like more trailers, more gameplay and stuff like that. Even though we've seen a ton of gameplay already. During Monster Cup, a bunch of guys got to go out and get footage and man, the game is looking pretty good in my opinion. Now, now, here today we have been hit with a track editor video. This is kind of like the track editor announcement video. It's over on their Instagram. The caption actually says your path to be a star of track engineering starts here and it's an Instagram post. I will link it down below and basically it's just a video about the track editor. I'm going to let you guys watch it. I'll come back at the end to talk about it, give you guys my opinion, give you guys the rundown. Enjoy this clip. Your path to be a star of track engineering starts here. Unleash your fantasy using brand new building modules taken from the official tracks of the official Championship 2019. And seeing that the track editor is a sandbox, you'll have many more sand modules to build your track. Then you've only to enjoy your own track creation and to upload it, receiving likes from people that have been astonished from what you've shared. Race on the tracks others have created and like them if you think they deserve it. There are thousands of tracks ready to be downloaded for never-ending fun. Check out our next video, Monster Energy Supercross 3, be one of us. So that's it, that's the trailer. Right away, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you think about the trailer. What do you guys think? Does it look good? Does the track editor look like it's going to be better this year? Well, let's hop into it, let's talk about it, and there are some things I do want to note. Now, if we pause right here, we can see that it actually says limitless track editor. I'll zoom in on that on the editor, and I just want you guys to keep that in mind. They are calling this the limitless track editor and I, I don't even know why man I just that that caught my eye let's hop in and talk about the good we'll talk about the bad and then I'll give you guys my opinion on it so for the good side of things we are getting new modules it does look like there are a ton of new modules for us to work with including a ton of new sand modules I always said like it, it was weird that they didn't give us sand corners or a bunch of sand options for the track editor now it does look like we're basically going to be able to make a whole entire track out of of sand so thumbs up for that it does actually look like there have been improvements across the board for the track editor one thing I did notice is that the rider actually jumped over the over under section so it does look like there is a little bit more variety it looks like we do have a little more control of I mean making a track that we want but that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with a, a little bit of bad so in my opinion it is very very similar to all of the track editors that we've seen from milestone in in previous games. It does kind of look like a reskinned Supercross 2 track editor mixed with an MXGP 2019 track editor with some new overlays and new interfaces and stuff like that. And do you guys remember when I said it's limitless? In my eyes, this is one of the most limited track creators ever. The track editor, it does have a lot of variety. There are a ton of modules, but you can't really make your dream track. Being given a certain number of modules and certain modules for us to actually use to build a track, right away that's kind of limiting our creativity. It would be sweet if we could hop in and make custom modules. What if we could shape the jump faces and stuff like that? I think that would be amazing. There is no elevation, which kind of makes sense here because it is super cross, but once again, we're kind of limited. <laughs> and what about like custom objects and custom decals, custom track textures and stuff like that? We can't really actually make the track that we want to make. We can't give the track the feel that we want it to have. It's just kind of this standard, oh, here is where the objects generated. This is the track that you get enjoy. So I do think the track editor is improving, but I think it's limited and I'm gonna go at it with an open mind. It does seem to be improving each year and each time we get our hands on the track editor. There are new features within it this year. I'm just hoping for the best, guys. That's it though. I just wanted to keep this one short and sweet. I don't wanna go on too much about the track editor because I haven't actually used it and I'm just going off of this video. So let me know what you guys think down below. In my mind, it's kind of a limited track editor, but it looks pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts below. Peace.
out. <laughs>